Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about American politics, and we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about the election where podcasts mattered um, more than ever. <laughs> like, so one, I don't think I don't think an election ever has, been, has ever been decided by podcasts, but I think this one might be. Uh, boy, oh boy, right? So one, um, Donald Trump has used podcasts extremely well uh, on this. Um, on this specific uh, election run. I will say this though, uh, what we're gonna talk about today is Kamala Harris on Call Her Daddy, right? Um, and what she said on Call Her Daddy, her appearing on Call Her Daddy, what she said on Call Her Daddy, Call Her Daddy itself, let's dig into it, right? But I do wanna, I just wanna take a minute, like this is pretty incredible. We've reached this point where we are in this situation where, um, Podcasts really mattered on this election. I think the Theo Vaughn, I actually think the Theo Vaughn uh, podcast is going to be like two to five points in the general. Theo Vaughn is, uh, actually Jim Gaffigan uh, was on with Theo Vaughn and he goes, why do you think your podcast is really popping, you know, and getting big, right? And Theo Vaughn's, I don't know, you know, because, and that's Theo Vaughn, right? He, Theo Vaughn is absolutely brilliant. He's super, super smart. But he he uh, he actually he actually talked about it. He he he's very very smart. But he actually said when he was young that you had to play like you could never perform well in school. People would say, "Oh, you're performing well in school." You know, this is what they would say to him, and they would not say it nearly this nice. They'd be like, "Oh, you're getting A's? Are you LGBTQ?" Like where he lived, he he was saying that like you would be accused of being LGBTQ. If you got good grades, that's astounding and horrifying and prejudice and a million. Of, but the but the thing with Theo Vaughn is, I actually think he you know he's got a mullet. He plays like oh I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know. Guy's brilliant. He's an absolute genius. And people read him. I think people read him as an everyman. Actually, Jim Gaffigan said this specifically. He said I think the the key to your success is you're an everyman and you're authentic. And boy, are those true, right? So I think Theo Vaughn is very smart. I think he, he had a lot of re genuine everyman attributes, but as he became a comedian, he, you know, he needed to be able to appeal to people. And I think he just kind of multiplied that everyman aspect. And he really does genuinely function as an everyman. Like I, you know, I don't drink, but I would, I would love to get a soda pop with, you know, with Theo Vaughn, just a really genuine, nice person. And he, man, is he authentic. You never feel like a, 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 actually a word out of his mouth is ever a lie. But since he's a comedian, he makes lots of like lore, you know, he's creating his own lore uh, around himself. And, but you're like, that's just an exaggeration. That's, you know, um, I, he's not lying, right? He, it, Theo Vaughn, I really think is going to massively help Donald Trump. And Donald Trump went on a bunch of broke podcasts that I don't care about. I don't even know which ones he went on, but I, it actually was a story that he went on so many. Um, and I really think podcasts are going to matter in this election. Let's talk about Call Her Daddy. So Kamala Harris, she wants to win, right? She wants to win, air quotes. She doesn't. It's a silent surrender, right? Why would she go and call her daddy, right? To win uh, childless cat ladies, right? Like... And actually, you know, I'm like, wait, 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 Scott, are you allowed to say that? Yes, because Taylor Swift is like, yes, a large, she's like, yes, Kamala Harris is absolutely, um, you know, bastioned by, by childless cat lady. So J.D. Vance got in trouble for saying what was absolutely true. And, um, and Taylor Swift, like, she's like seconded, J.D. Vance was correct. Kamala's base is childless cat ladies, right? Like, like I'm gay, like, you know, which is pretty astounding, right? So the thing is, she's got childless cat ladies locked down, right? Who's who's listening to call her daddy? Okay, tell me if I'm wrong. This podcast started out as a super raunchy S show, like, you know, like talking about their S lives. Am I right? Okay, like, all right, so... Only people going to be listening to that are childless cat ladies, right? Like they're not like, they're, there are not a lot of, there's no evangelicals listening to call her daddy. I've never, lit I've literally never heard a single episode, but I just watched, um, nobody wants this 
on uh, Netflix and actually Kristen Bell's Kristen Bell and, and another actress are literally playing like what I believe was a very close analog was actually like a placeholder for call her daddy in the show right so so what you know you would all, again if you look at Kamala Harris's um run she is making every choice to lose right like it, you know so the only people listening to call her daddy listen to a raunchy s show right which now gives out like extremely like woke wisdom right like and, and is no longer a raunchy s show to my knowledge right um you know because they they made the turn right like yeah which is exactly what they were showing it's exactly the same mark they actually showed on uh um nobody wants this by the way if you haven't watched nobody wants this on netflix get yourself over there that thing is a banker that is a five out of five star show fantastic chris chris and bell rocks i have never not forgotten her since veronica mars that, that was one of the best shows on television and i i think i'll always watch Kristen bell stuff she's fantastic um okay so so kamala like every single person who listens to call her daddy is already her base Right? She's, she's not going to gain her own people are going to be like, oh, that's great. That was, you know, I heard all the things you said before. Right. But then she's not going to get anyone she doesn't have already have locked down. So I believe that her going on call her daddy. First of all, she went because she knew it would be safe. She wasn't going to get any hard questions. Right. And then two, I think she did it because uh, because she's actually in a silent surrender. I don't believe the Democrats have any. They're like, we're, we're dusted. We're dusted and done. Just, you know, pack up the war chest, you know, shove it over to who it's ever is easiest, which is Kamala Harris. Let's just lose gracefully and then think about what we're going to do in 2028. I think that's, you know, so, all right. Now, let's talk about the best line in here. Like the, the one that was just, I couldn't believe she said it. So uh, call her daddy, whatever lady, who, you know, like Kristen Bell's analog, right? Like uh, says, hey, um... Abortion is a big uh, issue in this election, um, you know. And what do you think, right? Like just total TV you know, softball uh, question. And so, um, so Kamala Harris says Trump is just lying. It's so frustrating to me. He said that abortions are happening in this country up to nine months. He's and she said, how outrageously inaccurate. Could you imagine a woman? Could you imagine that happening? That a woman would elect to have an abortion in her ninth month. Can you imagine? I'm like, wait, what? What are you saying? Right? So, like, she just gave the Scott Garibay answer, but changed the month. I'm like, can you imagine a woman having an abortion? That's outrageous. Right? Like, yeah. <coughs> Shouldn't happen. All right? She's like, that. The, the idea of that happening is galling and, you know, like, shouldn't happen. It's not happening. Women would never elect to do this because it's in ninth month. <clears throat> and I'm like, wait a second. What are you saying? Right? So she showed disgust and appall at any woman electing to have a an abortion in, my, in, in month nine. Hallelujah, sister. I totally agree. Except change the number to one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. Right? So what is she doing? She gave a complete evangelical answer, but just changed the last number. Oh, oh, uh, so aborting an unborn child at, 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 month, at, at, nine, at month nine is a travesty, but doing it at month one is nothing? It's absurd. It is absurd. And I'm shocked that Kamala Harris walked right into this, right? Absolute ridiculous absurdity, right? Abortion is a crime against humanity at month one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And preach, sister, certainly in month nine, right? You and I agree, right? So it was wild. Like Kamala gave an, an evangelical Christian answer if you just change the number from nine to one month, right? Like, and it was astonishing. I couldn't believe that she just walked, waltzed into this. So one, I think she's, I do think Kamala, I don't think, I think she's very smart. I think she's capable, right? However, I don't think she has any drives or any desires. I don't think she really wants anything. I really don't think she had, except 
her own drive forward. I believe the only thing she believes in is her moving another inch forward. And she's done it every step of her life. She has no beliefs. She has no desires. She has nothing she wants other than her own advancement, right? And uh, and I do think because, and, and I think she reads as a blank slate because she is a blank slate. She really doesn't stand for anything except her own power. I don't think she cares. And I don't think she cares about anyone, anyone in the world except her. And I do think she cares about Doug. I don't know why he's an exception, but I do think she genuinely cares about Doug. Like, I'm okay. Like, I don't think that's fake. And the reason why is I want to give points where points are due, right? I don't believe, I don't believe that Hillary and Bill Clinton have been in the same room uh, I don't think that they've held hands in the last 40 years, truly, right? Um, so, but but I do think Kamala and Doug are a real marriage, and, and she cares about him, and she cares about advancing herself. But I was absolutely stunned to hear this, um, what she said. Just shocking. Truly shocking, right? Uh, every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a fetch millennium.